How you doing YouTube? It's Will from Will Development. This is my 397th weekly update. We are officially in the 10-week prep, give or take 10 weeks, for the Summer Scorcher, which is happening in uh, late July? I want to say it's late July. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's late July. It'll be happening. And uh, it's... Uh, going to be a fun show, going to be a good show. This is uh, super exciting for me because it's one of the few years where I'm looking at the weights slash events and believe I will actually be able to completely perform every event, uh, which is super exciting, uh, at a level two show. Been a lot of years coming, a lot of comps coming. Um, Notably, the dumbbell, which will be great to give that another shot this year, uh, as I did miss it last year. Now, I thought it was 130, um, the weight. I've been told that it's actually 125. Um, five pounds on a dumbbell sometimes makes a huge difference, uh, but I'm going to train as if it's 130 and go from there. Uh, and with that being said... Um, this week's training went really well. Um, did some yoke training on Monday. Uh, Going to start doing some partial deadlift pulls uh, probably two or three weeks from now. Then working <sighs> circus dumbbell every week, um, which is great for me because it's it's you know single arm. And I'm just using my right arm, which is great, because it's giving my left arm a nice, probably needed break from training it twice a week, um, so it can actually heal up a little bit. I am still doing some strict pressing earlier in the week, but it's not quite as heavy, slash uh, being modified due to pain tolerance. Um, basically, the pain gets to the point where it's like, you know, this is really, really hurting. In my mind, something like a 6 or a 7, I call it even an 8 where like the pain actually makes me want to scream out, then uh, I, I back it off a little bit. But, you know, like I said, doing circus dumbbell training, so a lot of single arm stuff and uh, a lot of jumping too, so um, training went well. Oh, you know what? Actually, there's a comp two weeks from now that uh, my training partner and I just signed up for randomly. We're doing literally no training for it. Uh, it's a very light comp. It's so light that I actually thought about going all the way up to heavyweight, just because the weights on everything for the under 200 class is so light that it's like, man, it's almost not even, it's not even worth it for me to do it. Um, I mean, I'm talking the yoke for it is 460 pounds. Now it is 50 feet down and 50 feet back, but I mean, I've done a 600 yoke for 50 feet. You know what I mean? I've done a 600 or a 650 yoke into 250 hand farmers before. Maybe that was only 40 feet. But still, it's just like, you know, the, the, the kind of weights there is just not even... It's going to be a speed thing. So, it's going to be about quick takeoffs and uh, quick transitions. If I can do the yoke down and back in under 18 seconds, that'd be about a 9 second run average. I'm figuring... If I get a good takeoff, it'll be a seven second down. Have to stop, repick. That'll take two seconds. Seven seconds back. You know, we're somewhere in the 14, 15, 16, 16 to 18 second range. And then I have a whole minute left, or, you know, well, call it 40 seconds to do as many reps as I can on a 160 log. Um, I should be able to viper that, which would be good. Because if I can viper it, then uh, it won't hurt my shoulder as much. Um, just basically carrying that momentum straight through, it'll, it, it doesn't hurt my shoulder quite as much. Sitting in that rack position of the log will hurt me. So um, if I can manage to throw it up hard enough and just viper it, you know, if I can get it to just here and then lock out, like it won't hurt. So, so that's the plan. Um, 40 seconds, if I can do one every 10 seconds, I'll be happy. So at least four reps there, I think that'll be good. Um, but yeah, that's just like one example of one of the events. Uh, there's a carry medley too, and it's just a Husafel and a crucifix, uh, sometimes called a mooring bit. 
And it's like 165 for both objects. I just did a carry medley with a 220 sandbag, 220 Husafel, and wasn't the other a 220 keg, I want to say? And that was for the 175s. So, you know, it's it's a very approachable comp. And I understand why why the promoter did it this way. It's their very first comp. Um, they had a pretty, uh, pretty low limit for the amount of people they uh, they were going to have um, in terms of uh, entrance and, and uh, athletes. And uh, they wanted it to be approachable. It's, it's very obvious that's what they were trying to do. And honestly, it, it's good because, you know, this... The, this sport needs those shows. It needs shows that have weights that are, I don't want to use laughable because that's insulting, but almost surprisingly light for somebody like me who's been competing in level two or level one shows, not necessarily well, but still competing in them and trying to get to these numbers that level two shows are at. And then I see something like a yoke that's not even 500 pounds for under 200, which means some guys might actually cut weight just to get to 200, whereas I'm not even going to have to cut any weight because I walk around at 185 now. Like, it's it's a little crazy to see that, you know what I mean? Like, wait, a log that's less than your body weight? You know, that's, that's like weird. You don't see that in comps a lot. But it's, again, I understand why the promoter did it. No, 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 I'm not trying to talk smack. It's just, uh, it's interesting and it'll be a fun little comp to do. Um, I'm mostly just doing it to support the promoter um, because it is their first show and um, it, the promoter and I aren't like friends or anything but we know each other and I respect him as a competitor um, and I want to support what they're doing um, as I hope they would do the same for me. So that being said um, Got that comp coming up in a couple weeks. Like I said, I'm doing zero training for it at all. Uh, there's also a truck pull and push, which I'm a little nervous because I feel like I'm probably going to get beat at that event just because I just know the truck is going to be stupid light. And I'm not built, and I'm not great at doing light seated pulls. I'm, I'm more adept and will always push to make the implement super stupid heavy, uh, because if it's heavy, I have an advantage, and I'll probably do it faster and better than anybody else there. Um, I'm very good at th those events, you know, I lost, I lost it once in a competition, and ever since then have not, not been beaten, um, in my own class, I, I guess technically I took third, or fourth in the heavyweights one time, but obviously I wasn't even in that class, so... Nothing to shake a stick at, uh, I think, because of that. Yeah, so I beat three other lightweights that day, and then I beat another lightweight at another comp where a seated pull was. But because this is a seated pull and a push, it kind of, it'll probably even out because I'm not that great at pushing vehicles, but I'm really good at pulling them. So if I can keep at least a decent pace with a lighter vehicle on a pull, get up real fast and push it back really fast. Um, you know, the, the, the lighter vehicle may benefit me on the push, so we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those you never really know until you get there. But training for the Scorcher's been going great this week, um, cause that's my main focus right now for the next nine, 10 weeks. I actually want to have a good performance. And, uh, most notably the dumbbell. I have not touched a circus dumbbell in probably almost a year. Basically since I did the Scorcher last year. I, I, I don't think I've touched a circus dumbbell. And tonight I hit a 15 pound lifetime PR on it. Hit one, 110 and it was like really wasn't even that hard. And I was like hmm I probably could go a little heavier but let's just train this intelligently as I had planned and 110 is the number I kind of wanted to hit today anyway in order to be in line with like the, the percentages I wanted to be running at so called it quits there and just ran around with that number and then uh, and because of that the rest of the training went really well uh, it was one of those don't push it let's just let's enjoy the PR but still be intelligent um, and that's different from how I used to be because I definitely in the past would have been like let's see what I can really do let's see if I can hit comp play today and then God knows I've you know injure myself or something, then I have two bad shoulders, you know, so 
so yeah, that's super exciting with the training. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back into it. This week was tough, just because we had just taken a week off, and now we're getting right back into it. And it's uh, th those, that week is always tough, because your body's just like, whoa, you just did like a week of nothing, and now you're like jumping in. And even though I, we jumped in lightly, it's still it's still tough. It always is. That first week back is tough. But I think taking a week off is always a, a sort of a smart idea. Um, a week out of the gym. Didn't mean I did nothing. I mean, you know, I, I did some movement stuff around here and some cardio. Ugh. Rowing. I do a lot of rowing. And uh, that's probably why I'm so good at truck pulls, honestly, because I just do that movement all the time. Anyway, that's about it. Um... I think the lesson this week is don't be afraid to sign up for a random local show to support some of your local people, especially if the show is super light, you don't even have to train for it. And if you are, then what's your excuse?